guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally doing my spring, I'm saying spring because this is not traditional spring decor, but I'm doing my spring decorate with me and just doing kind of a refresh on the main living area of our home. I'm so excited because I know I'm gonna be adding to this in the next couple months and probably doing a second decorating video, but it almost makes me kind of like emotional to do this because as you guys know we recently moved from Pennsylvania to here in North Carolina and I feel like I'm finally putting some of the real homey touches on this house that I've wanted to for so long and um, I'm just yeah I can't tell you how thrilled I am to do this I've got some DIYs planned and yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun but before we get too far into this I wanted to tell you guys that today's video is in collab with my friend Lynn white her and I are really good friends she's um, kind of like a soul sister to me her friendship definitely means a lot to me and she is also doing spring decorating so I'm really excited to watch her video since obviously I haven't seen it so whenever you're done watching mine go ahead on over with me and watch her video and don't forget to subscribe to her channel as well She does a lot of similar content to me she's a mom she does a lot of cleaning motivation if you guys are into that she does decorating and has great great taste she also does a lot of vlogging so I wanted to let you guys know that other than that I think we're ready to jump on in and get started okay first things first the hair goes up and the coffee gets made before we get started so um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of stevia in this and good to go but isn't this mug cute one of my friends got it for me and it's actually from the Magnolia line at Target but it's I think it's just the cutest mug ever so if this is your first time on my channel this is my coffee bar I'll back up a little bit this is my kitchen it's very like open and then that's the dining room I'll show you guys that in a second and then on this side goes into the living room okay so I thought I would if you guys have watched my decorating videos before I love to lay everything out that I'm gonna work with um, and kind of get a feel for everything so I know a lot of you have been anticipating this video and I said that I'm going to start adding in colors so let me show you what my inspiration is so we are gonna be working in the living room area today and then also some in the kitchen to kind of make everything really cohesive but what inspired me for everything I'm doing is actually this piece right here so my mom actually got this for me while she was here it has tassels it's really big so it's kind of hard for me to hold let me lay it down there you can kind of see the colors in it so my mom got this for me whenever she was here a few weeks ago and I'm actually gonna hang this above the couch I'm gonna kind of explain but mostly just show you guys what I'm doing as I go some of this stuff like there's a bunch of letter boards there's some things that I already had um, whenever I'm completely done I'll just do like a little tour and then I can tell you where I got a bunch of this stuff most all of this stuff was super super inexpensive like you're gonna be probably surprised at how much it some of it cost um, and of course I'll link up everything that I can so this piece was my inspiration but actually I shouldn't even say that because I'll show you what my true inspiration was and while I do that I'm gonna actually put this plant where it goes if you guys caught the vlog where I actually got this plant it is a dwarf palm and I want to get some more I'm on a streak of learning how to take care of plants and I'm going to master it <laughs> anyways I got this basket on clearance at TJ Maxx or home goods for like 10 bucks and it does have a dish in the bottom so that I can water the palm. But I'm going to take it out where I like to have it um, displayed. And I'll show you where the true inspiration for all of this came so from. So this is the door, the front door. And this whole space here, like including this little entry and my dining room, is probably going to be my next decorating video. Um, I want to revamp some of this and refresh it. I have some really great ideas. So let me just kind of turn so you guys can see. So this is where it goes into there the kitchen is in that doorway and you can see the living room this rug this rug right here was my full-on inspiration this is the the laundry room right here but this rug I found on Amazon it's under $40 it is I believe 10 foot it's almost three foot by 10 foot I think and it is 
so beautiful. I'm gonna get closer to that so you guys can see the colors, but this is where I like to leave this plant. I am new to the plant thing, but I'm also learning to kind of move them around where the sunlight is. So since this area does not get direct sunlight, I try to at least at some point move it to like close to one of the windows. So this morning I was actually sitting back in my daughter's room, totally sunbathing. <laughs> um, anyways, but I love this right as you come in the door. I've got this sign up here from Hobby Lobby, and then I've got the plant, and the rug and eventually I think I want to do something here but we'll see when I do this whole space and kind of refresh it so let's check the rug out okay so as you can see you see this like kind of burnt orange color that also reflects leather um, and then you can see that there's lighter blues and darker blues through all of this. So coming back over to my macrame, you see the same kind of colors are all peeking through. So I think as the, it gets a little warmer, I'll probably add more and more blue. I have about two other little pops of blue that I'm going to put into this. And then this like orange leather color is going to also be pulled through everything too. Here you can see from the opposite side where everything is, that's where that runner rug comes. And then this is the wall where the macrame is going to go. And if you guys are ones that watch all the time, you know this couch is not the couch that was there. <laughs> so, long story short, I lost all the footage, but Corey and I actually changed the legs out on this couch. My friend gave me this couch because she didn't have space for it anymore. And I had it all recorded. I showed you how we did the legs and everything, and I accidentally deleted it. So... I'm gonna just show you what the legs did look like. These were the original legs on it. Obviously, way more traditional than what I than what my style is. And so um, I went ahead and ordered these legs off of Amazon. And I needed uh, five or six. I actually discovered. I thought I needed six, but I actually only needed five. There's not one a, a middle one in behind there. So I actually have three of these left, which I'm thinking I'm gonna make a plant stand out of eventually. So what we did is we actually cut them them to the length that we wanted them to be but these could easily be attached to any couch just to give it that more like modern feel and look and they're really inexpensive on Amazon okay so super excited with how that looks that couch is incredibly comfortable we took the one that was sitting there and put it up in our bonus room because eventually at some point in this year I really want to make that into another living room the other thing I need to do right now is since this is sitting in here and it's a different length than the other couch that was in here plus you'll see how I'm gonna do all of this I need to move this rug over just a little bit oh wanted to quickly mention before I totally forget this rug is on like insane sale right now and I will link it below but um it's like a I think it's an 8 by 10 and you can't beat an 8 by 10 for the price that it's sitting at right now anyways so one of my DIYs I'm doing two I think two or three DIYs today one of them is this is what was left of the legs that we cut off over there and what I was originally going to do I was actually going to go to Lowe's and just have them cut me pieces because they have big poles or dowel rods whatever you want to call them and you can have them cut them for you right there but then whenever Corey cut these off I was like oh this will work for exactly what I wanted it for so over here I've got a couple pots and if you guys watched my last Ikea trip you know that I got these for like so cheap they were under three dollars these buckets one of them I want to keep blue because it is in here and I want to like you know have that blue reflecting. The other one, which I think is this one, I think I wanna leave this one blue. This one here, I'm actually gonna take outside. This was my original plan, and then I decided to go ahead and put you know, this color and the blue in. But this one, I'm actually gonna take it outside, spray paint it white, and then glue those legs on the bottom of it, just to give it a little bit of character. Here is where um, I found, let me see where it is. I don't even know what it's called. It's this stuff. I actually found this at Hobby Lobby, and it does say that it's for jewelry, but uh, it says you can use it on wood and metal and all kinds of things and it's supposed to really work well as an adhesive so I'm gonna glue those legs on um, I don't want to make any holes in the bucket and I thought I would make this as easy as possible for you guys if you want to try doing this with like a bucket or a planter so of course not wanting holes in it because it is a planter and um, I don't want the water to run out whenever I water the plant that's inside of it
I measured from the middle of the couch over because this is not, as you can see, like with the ceiling and stuff, there's not really like a center here. Plus with what I want to do on this side and then having this basket here, it all has to kind of like go together. So I'm going to hang baskets on either side of this. So this is my little plan. I have these really tiny command strips. Um, hooks and I did not hang that with a command hook I didn't want it to look that way but it has a really small 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 nail up there and it's in a stud so it will hang fine it'll be perfectly fine we can patch the hole whenever we want to take it down I just don't like having to patch like an entire wall of holes <laughs> um, so if I can kind of avoid that by hanging the baskets with command hooks because I can hide them easier that will be better so my plan is I have this little um, like plastic needle and then I have this string and I'm actually going to tie the string on the back of the baskets and then put these on the wall and hang the baskets with these if that makes sense. I'll just show you as I go. Alright, somewhere in the middle of me doing this wall, <laughs> my battery died on my camera, but this is exactly what I pictured. Now, if you guys have been watching a lot lately, you're like, but what happened to the pictures of the girls? Or those things that I had talked about doing. Wait and see, I have some other plans. Okay, um, this is going to be like an all day decorate, you guys. <laughs> um, so these obviously do not go with this very well at all. So I actually got some other covers I'm going to show you. But I was going to mention, because I thought it was worth mentioning, these covers right here are from Amazon. And if they do go with your decor, I will leave a link for them. Because if I remember right, they were super inexpensive. They've been great, really durable. I think I've washed them, washed them a couple times. Um, I'm just going to tuck them away because who knows when I'll use them again. But I'm going to show you the other covers that I got. Okay, so this here is a poof. Um, I'll talk more about that in a little bit, but it's basically like a foot rest and it's deflated right now. All of that. So I had the hardest time trying to find leather pillowcases that looked similar to this. Um, the first order I got, I have to take these back, were, was this leather color, and this is more of a brown. Um, again, super great price. These, this one actually came in a set of two. It's just the wrong, 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 wrong shade. Then I got this one, and these actually, I had to buy two of them. So these are a more like reddish rust color that I have. I mean, these are very, very, very close to the colors in my rug. So I'm going to put these on these pillows, try it out, set it all out, see how it looks with this. It's in the same tones. You can see like next to that brown, it definitely goes better with this than the brown did, but I'm still not 100% sold and I may end up returning these trying to find a set that actually matches this. But we'll see. Once I have it all completely done, you guys can let me know in the comments what you think about this. Um, but I really wanted to tie in some more like earthy leather tones along with like my terracotta. You guys will see in a second. And then like the oranges that are in the rug and in this. So as you can see, you can see it all coming together.
Okay, everything is a mess in here, but it's all coming together. I'm gonna kind of change my focus. That bucket is drying out there. I like um, the touches I added into that. Like I said at the end, I'll kind of go through everything, but I'm changing my focus to the kitchen now. All right, so here we are in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I've got stuff all over the house, but that's okay. So this is kind of how I had everything set up after I took down Christmas and I already know I'm probably gonna get comments about the fact that we do not have blinds or curtains on these windows And it's for a couple reasons. Number one, I love natural light not saying that I will never put curtains up or anything. I just love the fact that this feels so bright and cheery in here and open. I just love that feeling. And then the other reason I'm not really worried about it is because this house, it's our neighbor's house. This window right here is their only window that faces us and it's a bathroom and like you never see the light on in there um it's an older couple that lives over there i'm not worried about it at all so some people may disagree some people may not like that and would never do that but that's okay this is our house this is how we live other than that there's no other windows that face us and the houses are pretty close together so yeah, I just love the, how open it feels with nothing on the windows on this side of the house. Now, other areas we have blinds and in the dining room, I actually wanna get some blinds for that, that window. Anyways, all of that to say, so I'm gonna work on this little nook right now. I took this off the mantle and I'm actually gonna put it up there. And then I got this bin right here um, to kind of bring that rust, um, color that like leather color look and i'm gonna actually stick it under here i think i'm gonna put my oatmeal in here this is like a protein powder that Corey never uses and i think i'm just going to get rid of it and then um i'm going to stick that into the smaller one i don't know what i'm gonna do with that bigger jar maybe i'll put it in one of my cabinets in the dining room or something right now and then i have something to hang up here and i also found these the girls were eating yogurt in here so this is like messy but um they're playing in the backyard right now but i found these tiles and i'm gonna actually put them on this side to pull in a little more of the black and white look um they were in the target dollar spot and they have a hook already hanging on them i just think they're so pretty i'm so tempted to go get some more and hang them in my one bathroom i think they would look really cool so we will see um yeah so i'm gonna kind of work on this side of things i feel like everything's becoming very cohesive very um yeah just really really pretty i'm really happy with how it's looking The legs are on this and I didn't read the instructions before I used the glue but it actually takes like a whole 24 hours to truly bond so I may have to film my total reveal tomorrow so that you guys can see the way this looks I realize that they're gonna be a little wonky like they're not you know 
100% straight because these were an angled leg. But if you got like the post or the rods, like I was saying from Lowe's and just use the raw wood, you would probably have a way more even surface. But I'm planning to use this on the carpet in the living room. So I don't think it's going to have an issue standing, you know, relatively flat. So back over here to this hole, I am like loving this whole area. I think it's perfect. I love these little pieces above this. It's just really, really cute. So um, I have this little plant my mom gave me. It's actually a type of succulent. And I just picked up this sweet little pot. It's actually, it was like $3 at Target. And it does have drainage on the bottom. So I think I'm going to eventually transplant this into there. But for the moment, I'm just going to set it in there. Just like that. <laughs> and with plants, I am noticing now that I'm getting used to using real plants um, and not just fake ones but I do move them around a lot like I make them sit in the Sun and make sure they get enough you know, Sun especially the palms they really need the right amount of Sun and yeah it's taking a lot longer to actually do all of this than it is to film it if you watched my IKEA trip these are gonna look familiar so these are actually like considered to be a poster hanger there's a top piece and a bottom piece and my original intentions in getting these was to do large prints above the couch where I put the macrame, but I decided to um, do the macrame above the couch just to bring in more color and then do these in the hallway. I'll show you in a second where I'm gonna put them. And I, at some point in the next few months, would really like to get a print or prints done of the girls to do this. But for the moment, I thought I would try my hand at a little bit of watercolor. So I got myself these big posters that fit in these and I'm actually going to do some sort of watercolor. I'm thinking like some sort of plants, something that ties in with what I have going on in the living room. So you will see them from the living room and I thought right on the other side of that is like our coat closet. So I thought that would give a nice little touch going that direction and still make it feel homey and it's just feeling so cozy and yet refreshing in here. These are actually my daughter's uh, watercolors and I just picked up some brushes for myself. I'm going to do some practicing before I do it on the bigger pieces. I did get an extra piece plus I would have both sides to mess with if I messed up and if I had to I could get some more. These were pretty inexpensive. They were under $3 a piece.
All right, guys, so it's the next day, and I had all these intentions of being able to show you this tour in nice, bright lighting, but it decided to rain today. So it's gonna be a little bit darker, but I still wanna go through and show you how everything turned out. I'm so happy with it. So this is the entryway, and we've been so needing a rug right here, and this one's perfect. I think it's gonna hide a lot of stains and stuff, and you guys, it's super cheap from Amazon. You walk on in this way, and we'll get to the living room at the end since that was like the highlight of everything. So in here I added these tiles that I got from the Target dollar spot. They already had the little hooks on them. So those tiny little command strips, I will also link everything in the description box that I use to hang everything up. Those things are my new best friend. I had never used those before. I think they're called decor clips and they're just like teeny tiny like that. They really, you can't, you don't even notice them, but obviously they're not making holes in your wall. So I love that. And then over here, I kind of added a few things in um, from different places. I got this off of the mantle that was over there. Since I put my bigger palm over there, this was something I had in storage. And if you guys remember, I love these little succulents that drape and hang. I don't know what I'm going to put on here yet. But I have those in the hangers above my desk. And I just love sticking them in things. They're so pretty. And I could also change that out for the seasons. This this was originally something from Target, by the way. I don't really know if they have it anymore. Um, but I love how this cart turned out. This was also from the Target dollar spot, these little black planters. And they were already had the stones and everything in them. And then this candle is from Ikea. This was something from my mom. I'm not sure where she got it. I'm going to guess Home Goods. And then this cart I had redone. Um, it was like from a junk sale somewhere, I think. And I took it all apart and painted it like years and years ago. So I I just love the way that this has kind of gotten a little bit more homey right here. So on this side of the kitchen, I didn't change up a whole lot other than I added this little canister. They have a bunch of this color right now in the Target dollar spot, and I'm so tempted to get another one. I don't have anything in it right now. I was thinking maybe I could put salt in it or something like that since it's next to my so stove, um, but I'll see. These are from Ikea. This was a thrift store find, and for those of you that are new, here my backsplash is actually like a non-permanent wallpaper so um, it's really easy to put on we do rent here so it was something that I could kind of bring in that subway tile look without obviously putting real subway tile in So over here I often put up updates on my Instagram when I redo my coffee bar area so you guys can check that out but over here I just added in another little pot this one they have a bunch of different colors in this style pot I think it's so cute and then this one um, it was from another year in the Target dollar spot. So it's the little tray. I'm realizing how much I have from there right now. And then this is Hobby Lobby. This is Hobby Lobby, very new Hobby Lobby. And I believe they still have this one. These are Amazon. This was, um, I think Home Goods or something. And again, that color from the Target dollar spot was pulled in. But I really like that. And my mom actually gave me this little towel the last time they were here in North Carolina. Okay, so the whole point that I waited to show you guys um, the stuff today was for this. It worked perfect. That glue is amazing. I will definitely be using that for future projects because it really hold, holds the, I mean, like those wooden legs are definitely glued to the bottom of that bucket. I don't know that they'll ever come off, um, but it did a great job. Exactly the look I wanted. I think it's so cute, especially with this little planter that I got at Marshall's not that long ago. So these are my two snake plants. And ideally this corner, I would really like to either add more pots and like stuff of different sizes or even put a plant stand here. This window gets the greatest light. So I think it would make an excellent little like plant hangout corner. On this side, I have my Ikea shelving. I love this shelving. And I was recently there and realized that they actually also have pieces that are just one strip, which I'll keep in mind for future projects. Um, but love this shelf. It's definitely my favorite favorite. This stuff up here is all Target. A lot of Hobby Lobby stuff as well. I love Target and Hobby Lobby for my decor. These actually, I was on a missions trip and got these in Africa. So they are really from Africa. My daughters play with them all the time, which is kind of special to me um, because 
lo and behold, I had three little girls and I never knew that I would have three little girls when I got those stools. Then over here, oh, I just love how it all turned out. It's just perfect. And just a bit of advice, you can really find great furniture on Facebook Marketplace. My friend did give me this couch, but this one here I found on Facebook Marketplace and paid $100 for this. Um, we've had it for a couple years now, but really, really have loved it. And so you can really find stuff that's almost new. One thing I did with them, and this is a little trick with used furniture, is the tops of them were a little bit like pushed down, like the cushion part. So I actually took the cover off and flipped the cushion part on the inside over and then it brought the worn part to the bottom of the cushion if that makes sense. So just a little tip for you if your couch is looking a little saggy that can always make it look fresh and new again. So um, I had this black tray up in the attic. I, I don't even know it's from like another piece of furniture or something. This pillow I actually just picked up from Target and then the leather looking ones I wanted to mention because I got them off of Amazon and they are seriously great quality I highly recommend them they're also super affordable and I will link the poof <laughs> as well because this is the cheapest poof that I have found that looks like this leather look this pillow I got at home goods and that has some of my blues that I was talking about and then one of my most asked questions is where this came from because I use it on my mantle all the time I love it so much and it was from Hobby Lobby like one or two years ago. And then out this way is my paintings. And I really do want to get the girls prints printed up. Back there's a bunch of toys in our room. Can you see that? Some real life. Um, but I'm so happy with how these paintings turned out. I love these hangers. They're from Ikea and they're so pretty. I feel like there's so much you could do with them. One other thing I thought worth mentioning was this runner in front of my stove because I get asked so often where it's from and it is an Amazon find and I've washed it several times. It does great in the washer. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope it inspired you. If you guys didn't watch Lynn's video yet, please go do that. And thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribed. I do lots of motivating videos and inspiring videos. Also a lot of vlogs and mommy content and I will see you guys in my next video.